Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Chapter 1119, Emeth. Chapter starts inside Egghead Laboratory. Kaku has been released from the bubble by Stussy. But Kaku is angry with Stussy for the last words Edison told her. Kaku says, friends, don't make me laugh. Kaku tells Stussy to go away before Luchi arrives where they are now. However, we can see Kaku's face while he talks and he is holding back tears. Cut to Egghead Shore. Giants are cheering for Luffy and Bonnie. Then Mars talks with them. Mars says to Nikas, that is merely a fake transformation thanks to Toshi Toshi no me power. Don't get ahead of yourself. Then Mars attacks Elbaf's ship with another fire blast from his mouth. Luffy transforms into gigantic balloon to block the fire. Luffy shouts in pain, but he manages to hold the fire back and protects the ship. Luffy then stretches his arms and grabs both of Mars' wings. Then he talks with Sanji and the others. Luffy says, These monsters can recover no matter what we do, so the only way we have to take care of them is to blow them away as far as possible. Then Luffy asks Bonnie, Sanji, and Frankie to attack his balloon body with everything they have. Bonnie is shocked, but all of them follow Luffy's plan. Sanji uses Ifrit Jambe. Hell Memories. Frankie used Strong Impact Right. Bonnie used Extra Large Nika Punch. Bonnie, Sanji, and Frankie combined attacks hit Luffy's back. Luffy shouts it hurts because they used hockey. Then Luffy makes his body even bigger and pushes Mars towards his giant belly. Luffy says, Gomu Gomu no Dawn Balloon. Luffy combines Bonnie, Sanji, and Frankie attacks with his own strength and blows Mars away across the ocean. We can see a flash in the sky where Mars disappears, like when Team Rocket is defeated in Pokemon anime LOL. After pushing Mars away, Elbaf's ship is ready to set sail. Luffy asks, where is Usopp and the others? Sanji says they're late. We don't see Nami's group, Zoro, Jinbi, or Nusjuro in this chapter. Then Atlas tells Sanji and the others that they need to go and do something first. Then she tells Lilith in her head that York is able to track their movements now. Atlas is about to say what they must do, but scene changes. Cut to underwater, the ancient giant robot gets up, and the transmission Den Den Mushi inside it wakes up too. Vegapunk message resumes and we can hear some of his words, but there are little interruptions in the transmission. Vegapunk says the thing that was inherited can be called a will. I hope this message will reach those who are swayed by the cause. Then we can see more reactions around the world when people see Vegapunk appears again in the screens. In Whole Cake Island, we see Katakuri, Moscato, Brownie, and Zukoto wondering what is he talking about now. Vivian Morgans are in shock again seeing the transmission is back. And finally, we can see Gaiman and Sarfunkel reaction to Vegapunk's message, but since they don't have any Den Den Mushi, they are not aware of the worldwide broadcast LOL. Back to Egghead Island. York tells five elders that the transmission Den Den Mushi uses separate circuits for transmission and memory storage. So the only way to permanently stop the broadcast is to destroy it completely. Then we see Jew Peter spits out the Cypher Paul agents and Seraphims onto the marine battleships. Then Jew Peter starts sucking back Elbaf's ship. Luffy jumps back to the shore and punches Jew Peter's face to stop him. But while Luffy is punching Jew Peter, Warcury runs past him and jumps to the Elbaf ship. Warcury is about to crash into it. Luffy says, Oh no, the boar is coming, be careful. That guy's head is super hard. Broji says, That guy looks like trouble. Let's move or he will break our ship in pieces. We can see that Bonnie turned back into Kid after extra large Nika punch she used. Sanji says Bonnie Chan. Bonnie says I can't do this anymore. Freedom is so exhausting. Luffy notices something coming underwater. It's the ancient giant robot that remembers Joy Boy voice from the past, but we can't see Joy Boy yet. Ancient giant robot says Joy Boy, and suddenly, in the epic final double page of the chapter, the ancient giant robot rises out from the sea and punches Warcury's face, breaking one of his giant fangs. Joy Boy says, Listen, Emeth, when the time come, you must. Emeth says, The time? 
Everyone is shocked. Dory and Brogy eyes pop out of their sockets. Luffy's eyes become sparkling. Dory and Brogy says, what the hell is this guy? Luffy says, robot, editor's message. Romance on the move once more. End of chapter, break next week. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comment section. For more anime content, subscribe to the channel. That's it for today. Peace out.